Hey guys, it's me, Cat Sam's right there, but I'll put some pictures up here so you guys can check them out. And today we're just gonna do uh, get ready with me, just doing my makeup. And we're gonna talk about a few things. Um, it's been a lot of stuff going on with YouTube and I didn't really wanna participate in it, but something happened and um, just kinda threw me off. Oh, well, by the way, there's like, it's gonna be like an almost full face of uh, first impressions too. So I got my ja uh, Angelica Nyquist uh, brushes. I'm gonna use some of them I already have, but I'm just gonna use the whole set. I'm gonna use this Ray Morris as a primer because I need to figure this shit out. Use the Natasha Denona. Oh, Sam, don't move my. There you go. Uh, Natasha Denona mini palette. I got the CoverGirl face palette, Pixie by Petra highlighter, another blush too. I got this in Beauty Con. You didn't see my video on that. I'll link it up um, so you guys can check it out. Oh, I've been dying to try this uh, eyebrow thing from Maybelline. Got the CoverGirl powder. And then I'm going to try this Becca Ultimate Coverage 24-Hour Foundation. I think it might be light, so I might mix it with this Marc Jacobs. I don't like this, but I thought, mm, might as well retry it. Anyways, let's go ahead and get begin. Oh, shit, I need my brush. I'll be right back. So, um, where do I start? Where should I start? All right, so... If you're watching my video, you're probably engulfed with the whole um, YouTuber scandal with Laura Lee, Jeffrey, Nikita, Gabriel, Manny. Like, there's a whole bunch of shit going on. Um, I try not to get involved with that. But one thing I did notice that there's like some videos... Um, it was like a live stream of watching, I'm using the Ray Morris, um, the li a live stream of watching Laura Lee's channel go down, which I thought was crazy. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, um, just go ahead and Google Laura Lee um, T. I guess you can <laughs> look that up or Laura Lee um, racist tweet or whatever. I'm not going to go into too much detail about that. Um, so I thought that was really weird. And then I saw on my feed it held up um, people, though there was a live stream of comparing Laura's channel going down versus like Jeffrey's channel and it was increasing. And then there was another one for Laura's channel decreasing and showing Manny's increasing, which I, I'm like, how is this being what? And people were like watching and commenting. I was like, this is crazy. So, um, you know, I, I did peek at some of the stuff and I just thought it was odd people just really getting um, excited about someone failing and taking sides and, and just being really excited about someone just life just um, turning around for them. I'm not saying that what Laura did was was right. I'm deeply offended. Um, so yeah, anyways, that's beside the point. That's not my point of the chatting about this. Um, so along with what's going on with Laura, um, there was a few comments like in the media talking about how like, what was it, Ulta not going to move forward with um, putting her brand on, in Ulta. Ooh, that's really light. Putting the brand in Ulta. Um, and then there was uh, a conversation with um, the CEO of BoxyCharm. He made, like, a video saying that they don't, so, you know, like, it was kind of vague. Like, he didn't straight out saying... Um, well, anyways, it was pretty much, he pretty much said, you know, like, we don't support that. We don't agree with that. We, 
are, are disappointed. It doesn't cost anything to be nice, blah, blah, blah. That's fine, you know, like take a stand. What I found interesting is not that Laura's thing was justifiable or because it's been since 2012 when it happened, and I hopefully this will make sense, but um, I seem to remember in 2017, Tarte um, made a very racist comment against Asians, and um, I don't remember seeing the uh, CEO of BoxyCharm back then saying, oh, you know, this is not right, blah, 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 like all that shit. So I, find, I wonder if that's, is that too light? Oh, shit. And then, you know, that, that happened. So not to say, again, what Laura did was in 2012. What Tart did was in 2017. So I don't know, maybe... BoxyCharm should have done their due diligence and uh, did more research on Laura and they would have discovered this a long time ago and just chose not to use them, use her brand in their latest box. But yet, um, Tarte makes an Asian racist comment and they still put them, BoxyCharm still put them in, in their box. You know, that's kind of hypocritical. So... Why is one okay and one's not? And as far as Ulta, they're still carrying Tarte. I mean, does anyone see anything wrong with that? Like I do. I just thought that was really weird. And I didn't I don't like it. Is that too light? I feel I feel like I look ashy. Um Anyways, I don't have uh, a concealer, so I'm just going to use this, which is the Becca Ultimate Coverage. I'm just going to use this as a concealer because <laughs> I kind of want to just, um, I'm not really going anywhere, and I just kind of wanted to do makeup and chat about this while it was fresh in my head. Plus, I wanted to talk about Crazy Rich Asians. Have you guys seen that? Um movie yet? Oh my god, I'm obsessed. It's so good. I'm just, I'm just amazed at how beautifully well done it is, how funny it is, how it's relatable, not just to Asian. It's more of like a coming of age story, a love story. Um, yeah, that kind of thing. And, you know, I can relate to just going to Asia or going back home um, because I was born here in the US so this is this is my home um, I am from Filipino descent but I remember going back going to the Philippines for the first time and it was just really weird it wasn't like it wasn't like this amazing experience and you know being welcome with open arms and stuff like that I'm gonna use my derma blend this is not first impressions on this um, but I feel like this is going to be really dark and I don't want to put dark in my, under my eyes. So anyways, so what I found interesting also about the movie, and I listened to a lot of, um, of, uh, what do you call it? Interviews with the director, with the cast. And what I found interesting is, um, it's been 25 years since the last full Asian cast in a movie. I think, I believe the last movie like that was um, Joy Luck Club. And that, you know, that's meaning in Hollywood. Asians are not represented. And I was watching a video from Serene Wu. I'll link it in the description below so you can uh, check her out. She had done acting before, before she started putting um, her efforts into YouTube. She was a working actress and she talked about her struggles in Hollywood that Asia Asians were typically um, casted as a personality and not an ethnicity uh, I'll be right back so what I was saying what she was saying and what I totally agree with like if you are Asian in like Hollywood in 
the big screen or even the small screen, it means like you're either a slutty Asian or a nerdy Asian or a fobby Asian. If you don't know what fobby is, fresh off the boat, like heavy accent, things like that. There's no like American Asian, just like, you know, no accent, grew up here. And like, I still have the occasional, so where are you from? I'm, I'm from LA. Always people assume like I'm going to always side with my ethnicity. I am from America. I am American. Um, I was born here. My parents sacrificed a lot to come here so they can start a family. And, you know, for all the people who call themselves settlers, I guess I'm a set my family is a settler too. We're not immigrants. We're settlers. If you want to say it like that, I don't want to be too controversial about that. But that's just kind of how it is. Anyways, I, I digress. So August is supposed to be um, hashtag Asian August or hashtag August Asian. I'll put it in the screen so you guys know what I'm talking about. So I wanted to um, highlight some um, Asians that I adore here on YouTube. So, um, and I'm going to link their channels in the description below. So I do watch Serene Wu, like I mentioned. She's lovely. She's going on a like a different beauty, minimal lifestyle journey, which I think is amazing. I think it's great for her to do that. I went through something similar. Um, anyways, I also love Michelle Wong. She is <clears throat> a New Yorker living in Las Vegas now. We're about the same age. She's pretty rad. She's a uh, professional knitter, knitwear designer, knitter, knit designer, and she does, um, she does, she does, um, lug she does luxury makeup, by the way, my cats were fighting, so I had to break that shit up, she does luxury makeup, which, like, I freaking covet her collection, no, I mean, I have luxury makeup, but she has it all. I'm very particular about the luxury makeup I have because I've tried a lot. And I find that because I'm more on the tan side, some of the luxury makeups are are, are more designed for fair skin. So I think it's better that I just stay in my lane until they become a little bit more, you know, for everybody. Um, I also love Karen Harris. She is from Sri Lanka and she, if you want to know about a palette, she has it or most likely she has it and she's either, uh, has it in her collection, reviewed it, swatched it, um, going to review it. She has, I mean, she'll try them all. So if you are ever curious about, um, a palette, an eyeshadow palette. That's her thing. So I'm gonna try this, this, this um, eyebrow thing. It had bad reviews. What's, what is this? The Tattoo Studio Brow Tint Pen. Looks like. Can you see that? Let's try it. I also love watching um, Melissa Gold. She's an Australian Asian woman. She's got the best accent and she has great taste in makeup. Um, she also has like funky hair and this is not very good. She has funky hair. She's, I think it's blue right now. And, um, Oh man, look at this, can you guys see that, it doesn't, this is not very good, can you guys, I, I can't even see it, did it dry out, it like goes on my hand but then when I try to put on my eye, oh my god this is terrible, oh, 
All right, that's a fail. We're just throwing that out. Let me just do my brows real quick, and then we'll chat some more. Okay, I'm back. I just had to do my eyebrows with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz per use. And, uh, yeah, there serves me right to try to do a new um, brow product. That totally sucked. Anyways, uh, back to my Asian peeps that I watch here on YouTube. Soon Mi Yi. I just met her recently. And we went to BeautyCon together. She's lovely. Um, Sarah Kwok. I enjoy her reviews. And uh, she always likes to do lovely, colorful looks. Every once in a while, she'll put her pit bull in the background, which I totally enjoy. So, here, Sarah, if you're watching, put your um, pit bull more in the frame so we can all enjoy him. Anyways, those are just a few. I'm probably missing some, and if I remember, I'll either say it in this conversation or I will just link it in the description below because if you are looking for um, Asian YouTubers that aren't like million person, um, have million subscribers, you just want like a, a real YouTuber, you know, someone's doing it for fun and the, and the passion of makeup, uh, I will have it in the description below. And then if you have anyone that I should be aware of, any um, Asian beauty influencers that I should be aware of, please let me know. I'm always on the lookout for someone that has similar experiences to me, similar skin type, similar tone, um, that kind of thing, you know. So what else shall we talk about? Yeah, so I hope I'm not upsetting anyone with talking about the scandal that's going on here on YouTube. I just found it interesting that so many people are taking a stand against Laura, yet other channels are increasing and uh, some people are being forgiven and other people aren't. And some companies are taking a very hard stand against Laura and then other companies like Tarte, they're just like, it doesn't matter. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how to feel about that. It's just kind of like, I don't, I, I think I'm more just curious on how, how it was chosen. Like, why was it Laura? Why is she the one being pretty much, um, the example? I guess I can say. And leave your comments down below. I'm, I'm curious to know your thoughts. I, I just don't, I'm just not sure why. You know, like I'm, I'm kind of like dumbfounded on the whole thing. So let me know. I'm a little like, I don't, I don't know what look I'm trying to go for, but um, I started with like the basic color. So hopefully, um, <laughs> What I'm doing is okay. I don't know. Let's see. Oh, man. I'm probably this. I don't think I know what the small tapered blending. I don't have this one, so I'm not sure how this is supposed to go. Yeah, so leave me in the comments any. Asian beauty influencers or just um, some channels that you think I should check out. I'm always interested um, in checking new things out. For a long time, not for a long time, but I went through this phase of just like watching like Dr. Pimple Popper and all the pimple popping videos. <laughs> now I'm over it. Um, but I've been watching a lot of cat videos because I'm obsessed. And what else? Um, yeah, I just, uh, yeah, I, don't, I, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> so anyways, uh, what's everyone planning for this weekend? So 
filming this on a Friday. I don't know if I'll be able to get it up this weekend. I don't know. So maybe this will be up and maybe it'll be like, oh, what do you guys have planned for the weekend? Or this will go up on Monday and you'll be like, bitch, weekend's over. <laughs> My husband's birthday is coming up. So um, we are going to just have dinner with one of his friends who's also celebrating a birthday. We're going to have dinner with his family. And we're also going to um, go check out the Bulletproof Labs in Santa Monica. If you guys checked out my Instagram, we went to the Bulletproof Coffee um, Cafe in Santa Monica. And they had just opened a lab, which is like biohacking your body by like cryotherapy, um, sink tanks, just different ways to exercise to optimize the workout kind of thing. I don't, I'm not quite sure what it is, but we're, I think we're going to go check it out. And um, I think we're going to do that this weekend. I think we're also going to, my husband wants to go to South Coast Plaza. If you don't know what that is, it's like a huge mall in Orange County. And he wants to walk around. I'm not sure why. Um, he's not really a shopper. Um, he wants to shop around. He hasn't been in that mall in a long time. I haven't been in that mall in a long time, but it's just kind of like, I feel like it might be torture because um, we don't really have a lot of money right now. Sam, what are you doing? Sam. He's like biting his leg. I don't know what that is about. Um, we just, you know, like, we have a lot of expenses that we have to take care of, you know, being unemployed for some time. Um, I kind of accumulated a, a bit of debt. So it's like money's kind of tight right now. So I'm not sure why we're going to the mall and I don't want to torture myself. And I'm actually kind of rethinking um, what I might purchase on the Sephora client appreciation event. I don't know. Like right now, I think I have it at $200. I think I can possibly get it down to 100 I don't know, because I also want to buy a couple things at Ulta for their 21 Days of Beauty, which is next month. Um, but it's only like one thing. One, like one, um, I want the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow whiz. I want to get backups because I'm almost done with from what I have from the last time. What are you guys getting in 21 Days of Beauty? I looked at the, the calendar. If you guys haven't seen it, I put it in, um, in my Instagram and you guys can check that out. I only want I don't think I want anything else besides the brow whiz, but me with sales, I get pretty, uh, pretty excited sometimes. I don't know how I feel about this. This is pretty, uh, stiff. It was pretty stiff for my mature eyes. And I don't know if I like this color because I think it might make me look bruised. What do you guys think? So by the time I'm filming this, the appreciation event is on. I already had some people tell me that they already bought some stuff, which is pretty exciting. I'm excited to see what everyone gets. Um, I don't, I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna buy it today. I think I need to calm my shit down and not um, buy right away. What do you guys think? Michelle Wang's on like a no buy for August and she says she's gonna buy September 1st so maybe I'll do something like that like hold off till then what do you guys think can you guys do that and then if it's out of stock it's out of stock but I guess like everything that I have in my cart are all Wants nothing is there like any like I don't need makeup I I like makeup 
and I have fun with it, but it's not something like I need to have. So, I don't know. Oh my god, I just had a fear that when I edit this, I'm going to sound like super monotone and boring, and this is going to be like a terrible video. <laughs> I hope not. Let's see. This is not a uh, new mascara. This is my um, one I always use, but the last few, I don't know if this is like, I don't think this is old, because I, I, I pretty much um, change out my mascara every two to three months. I feel like Oh my god, I totally blanked that I have it right here. I feel like it's kind of changed a little bit, or maybe I've just changed my opinion. But let me know in the comments your favorite um, drugstore mascara. And I have very straight, very thick eyelashes that I have to curl. Most uh, mascara will just... Um, will just wilt the curl. I think I just um, wiped this off too soon. Anyways, um, let's see. So now I'm using the CoverGirl face palette. That's pretty. Have you guys tried any good new drugstore stuff that you just need to share with me, I would like to know. Oh my gosh, this thing, I thought it would be like this size. It's like, I guess it is. It's just like looks super small in this packaging. It's like super tiny. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. They put it in a box and there's plastic all over it too. Hold on. Oh my god, my cats are fighting. All right, so today I got to, so it's super tiny. Today I have to, uh, well, it's Friday, so it's my office day for work. Ooh, it's my office day. Well, it's not always Friday, it's my office day, but I'm gonna go do some work. I also need to get my car washed, and then I need to, maybe if I have time to get my nails done, um, I feel like that looks too ashy. I don't think I like this. Yeah, I don't think I like that. Hmm. I can't tell if I like the cover go. Let me see if I can buff this out. see. I don't know if I like this one either. I think it looks ashy as I put it all over my face. Anyways, let's uh, try some this uh, blush. So I have to definitely need to try to get my car washed. It was dirty. I've had my car since July and I've already have over 3,000 miles on it and in that time I think I've only washed my car like twice it's oh, it's kind of pretty I'm gonna put pink on top see what happens okay that makes the um, it makes the highlighter look a little bit better okay that's okay don't hate it. What else do I need to put on? Anything else? Is that it? And excuse the mess back there. I'm doing an ongoing process of redecorating my office. So I need to put those up there. I just finished painting it like a year ago and I haven't had time. I know. It's hard. I mean, I work so much and uh, I would like to have a social life and I do YouTube so when people like do videos and they work full-time and they do YouTube and their house is clean I'm like fuck how do you guys do that anyways let me um, finish fixing my hair and then um, I'll close this out 
right back. Okay, I'm back. I just put Pat McGrath Labs on Deep Orchid. It's one of the new ones. If you saw my latest lip swatch for Pat, for Pat McGrath, this was in it. It's probably too dark for summer, but I like the way it looks. Anyways, uh, let's just go through what I tried on. Um, the Ray Morris, I use this as a primer. I don't know. I mean, I have to wear it, but I mean, it didn't, it didn't, um, mess up the foundation, but you know, the foundation I don't, I'm playing around with. So it was a mixture of the Marc Jacobs, which I know I don't like. I just wanted, I just knew it was dark enough to mix with this, the Becca 24 hour ultimate coverage. And then I used this as, um, concealer, which was fine. Uh, powder was the CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Powder. Uh, I think it was probably good because it was still light with what I had on. Um, this face palette I do like. I don't know, I'm still on the fence with the highlighter. I think, I don't know, it might have been just like the highlighter, this one. The Pixie, this is Mini Mesmerizing Mini Duo, Mineral Duo in Sunny Bronze. I'm going to give this to my friend because she's lighter than me and this made me look ashy. So um, I don't like that. The blush in Flesh Face Bust Beachy Rose I think is really pretty. Um, so I'm happy I have that. The... Well, oh yeah. The um, Natasha Denona mini Lila palette. I'm pretty excited about this. I have to play around with it. This is just one look. I used... Did I use all the colors? I think I used all the colors. Um, I'm still on the fence. Uh, I was using new brushes that I was, I was just kind of guessing what they're for. So, yeah. Um, oh, and then I had the brow thing from CoverGirl. No, Maybelline, which I already threw out. It's terrible. So anyways, uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you, um, hope it wasn't too <sighs> like a downer. I usually try to have uplifting things on my channel, but I just, I'm just really irritated that, um, you know, something that happened in 2017 with Tarte has been overlooked and it seems like something that happened to Laura Lee that was 2012, um, they're going pretty harsh on. Like, not pretty harsh, that's not the right word. It's like, they're going after her for something that happened in 2012, but they're not going after Tarte for something that happened in 2017. And that's just, that was last year. So hopefully that makes all kinds of sense. And please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And don't forget to leave me in the comments if there's any Asian um, influencers that you enjoy watching. I'm happy to check them out. And, and until next time, I love you guys so much. And don't forget to check out some of these latest videos that I have up. And I love you guys a lot. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye.